For the last five years, New York's LaGuardia Airport has been undergoing an $8 billion upgrade. And according to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, its transformation will be complete next spring. The old airport, which was probably one of the most hated airports in the country, will have been transformed into one of the best. But rebuilding an entire airport while keeping it functional for up to 50,000 passengers on busy days is no easy feat. So how did the Port Authority pull it off? And what can travelers expect going forward? Renovating LaGuardia Airport involved tearing down and rebuilding every single passenger facility, with the exception of the landmark Marine Air Terminal. And since it remained an active airport, renovations had to be done one area at a time. The construction pattern had to be that you built a new passenger facility, you put that into use, and it was then and only then that you could tear down the old. The pandemic brought challenges, such as having to enforce strict safety protocols for workers on the construction project. But the drop in passengers did make it easier to construct new roadways. You could actually confine the traffic to individual lanes so that construction on the new terminals could accelerate because you could use those for cranes, for other construction equipment. The Port Authority says the airport is currently about halfway through renovations. And so far, there have been some positive reactions. We've heard from pilots. We've heard from airline staff. I've actually been in the airport when passengers come out of a jetway, having just got off of a plane, where they do a complete double take and say, did I get on the wrong airplane? Terminal B is 90% finished and features art, greenery, four airline lounges, and 42 new shops and restaurants. The Port Authority says that one key difference between the old and new Terminal B is that almost all of the shops and restaurants are located after security, so travelers can shop and dine while waiting for their flights. There's also a sky bridge that allows passengers to walk over active taxiways. As you a drive up to the airport on the departures level, you will see an extraordinary vista of the Manhattan skyline. There's one brand new concourse which is quite striking that looks out both on Flushing Bay and on City Field. Terminal C, which is being built by Delta Airlines, is set to open next spring. All of the new passenger facilities have also moved closer to the main highway. This way, aircrafts have more space to taxi and there could be fewer issues getting to their gate. Now we're seeing an airport emerge, which is what the region deserves, what uh, what travelers deserve, what uh, employees of all of the employers at the at the airport deserve.